Welcome to the Narratives of Impact Toolkit. This toolkit and accompanying video guides are designed for organisations, individuals and teams to use storytelling as a method to measure impact. Using storytelling to measure impact is a creative way to engage with people in an evaluation and learning process. Stories are useful tools for helping us to see what is working and what needs to be improved and can be valuable ways of collecting important data and sharing it in interesting ways. Using different storytelling methods can help people to engage with data collection and learning processes, enhancing inclusion and access, as well as interest and commitment. The toolkit is divided into the following chapters. Chapter 1. Working with people and using stories to measure impact. This chapter explores working with specific groups of people. Chapter 2. Using gaming to create and measure impact. This chapter looks at specific gaming methods, including the hackathon, which takes data such as statistics and turns it into visual stories. Chapter 3. Measuring impact with digital stories. This chapter explores how you can use digital tools, such as mobile phones, tablets, video cameras, etc., to help record stories that measure impact. And chapter 4. Methods to measure impact with stories. This chapter presents different methods and activities that can be used to measure impact, connecting to storytelling. Each chapter has a video guide that goes with it. Having a creative approach to measuring impact with stories can be very helpful. Using stories of lived experience to measure impact will help connect to people in a way that techniques such as surveys can't. More so, creative formats like art, poetry, photography, engage with people on a different level and can help people to express their feelings, thoughts and ideas in a more insightful and meaningful way. A creative approach can be effective when working with people who have different ways of communicating, have neurodiversity or struggle to express themselves, who lack confidence or are shy. It's not just the participants who will benefit from a creative approach, but team members will too. Using different, simple, creative methods can help team members become more interested and involved with the process of measuring impact. Using quality indicators. When measuring impact, you will usually want to find out the specifics of an outcome or an ongoing issue to find out what impact the service, project, organisation, etc. is having on the individual or the group. To do this effectively, it's useful to have a framework to work with that include quality indicators. Quality indicators could include the following. Inclusion, creativity, social change, feeling safe, accessibility, personal development, learning specific skills. And there will be many more that are specific to your organisation the services that you provide and the work that you do. Quality indicators help to give an organisation focus on the specific information that they need to collect and it helps organisations to stay focused on their main aims and their core values as well as the practicalities and the logistics of running services, training, day-to-day care and support. Having a quality indicator framework can help organisations focus on the impact that they are measuring. Co-creating impact measurement. An extremely effective way to implement impact measurement in your organisation is to co-create and design it with everyone in the organisation. Managers, staff and people who use the services. This way you can create effective engagement and ownership of an impact measurement process as well as ensuring that the quality indicators you are measuring against are relevant and the methods that you use are accessible to all.